the Golden Gates Robbers. Devin Carey aka D and Sheikh Isle Smith aka Yardy 2 residents of Golden Gates, Carmichael Road. One a Jamaican national who has no status to be in the Bahamas. These men was charged on six counts of armed robbery and one count of attempted murder in the capital of the Bahamas. Devin D. Carey and Sheikh Isle Yardy Smith robbed a Rubis gas station of and undisclosed amount of cash also robbing a customer of $1,500 while pointing a loaded weapon at the cashier. That same day while police dispatcher was alerts to be aware and on the lookout for these men. On that same day Sheikh Isle Smith along with Devon Carey, held up S and a variety store on Joe Farrington Road taking only $300. On leaving the scene Devon Carey opened fire and shot the owner in that incident. The owner is still recovering battling for life while the gunmen continued in their episodes of violence. While the country was on lockdowns and curfews, D and Yardy in that same week, in their spree of street crimes went on to hold up Trey's convenience store, and robbed the convenience store of $200 and a pack of Aspen Blue cigarettes. This wasn't the end of this spree on the same day. Devin Carey aka D and his accomplice Yardy Smith went on Fire Trail Road West and robbed MacGrab Convenience Store in Jubilee Gardens of $761.52 and then 4GS Convenience Store of $955. Yardy or Sheikh Isle Smith of St. Catharines, Jamaica, entered the Bahamas legally. However, after months wandering around and plotting under menace, slack week lawless ruly and free reign with foreigners his visa expired in the country. Smith and his co-accused Devin D. Carey are both to return to court on September 30 to answer to their serious reign of terror across the capital. Golden Gates residents suspected of robbing a number of businesses in a day says he's innocent. Devin D. Carey, one of two men sought in the incidents made his first court appearance. He did not have a lawyer. Prosecutors say Carey, 24, tried to kill Samuel Strachan, owner of J&S Convenience. Also, prosecutors say Carey, tried to kill Gizl Lubin, on the property of Mac Grab Convenience Store, located in Jubilee Gardens, on June 3rd. Jamaican national Sheikh Isle Smith who admitted to committing a string of armed robberies in 2020, has been sentenced to 10 years as part of a plea agreement. The cases were dropped for Devon Carey. Sheikh Isle Smith, of St. Catharines, Jamaica, pleaded guilty to five armed robberies and causing grievous harm for shooting one of his victims. Yardy Smith admitted to robbed Rubis service station on West Bay Street on June 9. Also an unknown amount of cash. Customer Owen McCafferty also robbed of $1,500. On the same day, he admitted to robbed Samuel Strachan, the owner of S and a variety on Joe Farrington Road of $300. Strachan was shot in the shoulder during the holdup. On June 9, Smith committed three armed robberies. Smith admitted to robbed Trey's convenience store of $200 and a pack of Aspen cigarettes. As part of the plea deal, the two years that Smith has spent on remand will be deducted from his 10-year sentence then deported. For Devin D. Carey, a free man on bail for a separate armed robbery and attempted murder, was sent to prison for breaching his curfew four times. Police arrested Devin D. Carey, 27, after he was found in breach, of his 9 p.m. to 6 a.m curfew four times between January and February this year. D admitted to the offenses during his appearance before Magistrate Kendra Kelly on Friday. In a mitigation plea, D's lawyer suggested that his client broke his curfew because he was working long hours. He said D loved to work because he wanted to provide for his three children and asked the court to either impose a fine or give him a strict warning. The matter was not negotiable stressing that four breaches were not a small number that could be taken lightly. The judge told Dee she did not care that he worked long hours, and argued that he should have been at home before 9 p.m. as stipulated in the conditions of his release. The magistrate also reminded the accused that there was a process he could have gone through to have his bail conditions varied to accommodate his work schedule. But his failure to do so showed that he did not care Magistrate Kelly added. As a result, she sentenced him to six months in prison on each count which will run concurrently meaning at the same time at this present time he is out on bail